So the area of a rectangle get reduced by nine square unit if its length is reduced by five and breadth is increased by three unit. So this is the first statement. So what are they talking about? They're talking about a rectangle. Yes or no? Yes. So do we know the length and breadth of rectangle? Uh, no. So let's say this is length is x and breadth is y. Okay. Now, yes. what is the area of rectangle in that case? Area of rectangle length is x, y. Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Okay. So the question is saying the length is reduced by five. So what does it mean? Uh, what is the new? X minus five. X minus five. And uh, breadth is increased by three. That means? Y, y plus five. Y plus five. And area would be? Uh, X minus five multiplied by Y plus three. Understood this thing? Yes. So the question is saying the area get reduced by nine units. The original area gets reduced by nine units. So therefore, x minus five multiplied by y plus three is equals to equals to what? What was the original area? X y minus nine. Is this thing clear? Yes. Now, just multiply this part. This is binomial multiplication. Okay. X, Y. X, Y. Plus. X, Y. Plus. Plus. Minus. Y, Y. Minus. Equals to X, Y. Minus 9. So, X, Y. X, Y. Cancel. So, 3X. Yes. Minus. 5y minus 15 plus 9 equals to 0. So 3x minus 5y and over here we will get minus 6 equals to 0. So that is my first equation. Understood? Yes. Now based on this understanding, let us read the second part. Give me one minute. If we increase, sorry. if we increase the length by three unit and breadth by two unit, and breadth by two unit, so both other things are increasing. The area increased yeah. by sixty seven. So, can you tell me the second equation now? Okay. Yes. Giving you two minutes, copy this thing and then tell me the second equation. So, xy, 2x plus 2y plus 6 equals to xy plus 67. Is this step correct? No. 2x. Uh, it should be 3y. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 3y. So 2x plus 3y. And if I shift this thing to the side, minus 61 equals to 0. Is your answer matching? Yes. 
So this is my second equation, and this was my first equation. So you can use elimination method, substitution method, or whatever method you feel like, and solve this question. Okay.